this time, y'all. Topics on here. We're going to talk about the um, FBG Young and FYBJ Main interview. Great interview. Make sure y'all go check that drawing out. We're going to speak on. Bloggers in Philly trying to ride Meek last wave. I'll explain. And third but not least, we're going to speak on. I don't know if maybe it's just my page. Why the women on Facebook seem bitter as shit? Is it that they older women? Get in the comments. Let me know. You already know. If you want me to add you on, you are welcome. Come on, join the chat. And let's get into all, 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 all of that. All right, man. First, man. Well, that's we going to. Academics. And, um. Meek Mill. So, everybody know Ack and Meek had uh, probably a little words earlier on in um, their careers, maybe like a few years ago, okay? Things never really settled because, for one, me don't respect act. You feel me? And now, act is out. He fighting back. See, before, act wasn't fighting back. You know what I'm saying? And. You know, I ain't here to bash me and all, but I'm just here to, you know, with facts is facts, you know. Like, me always jumping out on some bitch-ass dudes, man. Niggas like Safari and them, bro. You feel me? Like, no, gang, like that Quentin Miller. He's weak, nigga. Why you ain't jump out on Ab and them? Why you ain't jump out on um, Drizzy, you know? Um, who else is do that smoke with? You ain't jump out, them, uh, out on them damn niggas from down Jonestown, either for a little snoop. Or 
even had motherfuckers jump out for real snoop. Yo, how you going? No. No. You see, in the Bible and in the Quran, it says I for not again. So meek would have had every right if he was trying to help that young artist that he cared about. If he was really trying to help him. And my young boy died over a hundred dollar bet. Please believe. I'm gonna make sure, homie, every fucking day of his life is hell on earth. You hear me? <laughs> For real. That's embarrassing to even say. My young boy died over ten dollars, a hundred dollars bet from a video game. What? Something mm. mm. ain't right. But anyway, and then. Out the street, certified. Um, like, like they were saying, um, ever since me got into a OBH, the street cars been kind of, you know, bull. And I mean, you never redeemed back from that. Rough, rough. I'm from here. The streets ain't never letting me. I mean, they still got a little love playing and rock to some of the songs I do, too. But, man, we talking about when it comes to this. And then, like, yo, yo, he did the most suckerest thing I ever seen in life. Man, we all know Meek was like a nigga like me. I gotta tell y'all, I'm from Uptown. WB Walnut Lane and Bateman. It's the next block over from P and B. Okay? P and B is the youngest. WB is the older motherfuckers, alright? So in fact, if you look on Rock Neck, he got that joint, WB. You feel it, dig me? Rest in peace to my young motherfucking God. Love you, boy. Um, yeah, but I was down 13th and Allegheny every weekend. You know what I mean? By the time I got that light, no bullshit, like eight ten. I was able to hop on that goddamn trolley by myself. I was gone. You know? I was down there. Every day. Went home up G-Town that night. But, um... So yeah, I understand how he be like, you know, repping South Philly and repping North Philly. But he had just cold turkey switched on 18 from Burks. Like, I like, him rep that. Like, he took his John stand for 18 and Catherine. Yo, who, who, was, who was giving him smoke for 18 from Catherine? Oh, y'all should have heard the way academics pronounce the block. I 
man, I ain't never really hear about too much going on around aging cats myself. But, uh, whatever. <laughs> you feel a ding? Um, they said this dude did a lot for the city, so what do you do? I guarantee you, man. I guarantee you Milano did more for this city than this dude. Fuck them book bags, God. These kids don't even carry books for school. These niggas is quick with motherfucking ghost guns and all types of shit. They ain't think about no fucking book. They trying to survive. They got to live first in order to do any fucking all asses up, man. Let's talk about it. So we got vloggers saying academics trying to turn Philly against you. So anything I don't be like about YouTube. YouTube got to get like a a challenge um, button. We need to write to YouTube and tell them make a challenge button. That way when, when these cats say some crazy shit out their mouth, you able to challenge that. You able to challenge that with facts. And once them facts are presented, Motherfuckers gotta change that, cause it be a lot of fucked up narratives going on out here. Let's get it. But, you know, truth be told, I sit back and cut. You know, I don't know. Whatever's in the dark won't come to the light. Whatever's in the wash won't come in, come out in the wrench. Think you got gate jumpers, but you won't hop this fence. And if so, don't think about running ball, because you won't ever play the bench. Mm -mm. In fact, bitch, you gonna be the drench, the water boy. Go flinch. Mm -hmm. No. Seriously, though. You got these bloggers, man. They be holding meat nuts and so like we gonna get um some type of shot out. They trying to hold him up with his last little juice. Bro, if y'all don't let go of that dude angle, let it go. Cause y'all drawing right now. I mean, let go of his hand. Next time we catch that, you going off the land. I'm like, yeah. We got one boy on the phone with TP Bay. I feel like it might have been SB the blogger. I'm quite sure SB the blogger is old enough to know 
what the fuck is going on, and all that, if you listen to music. But he was asking questions like he didn't know the answers already, you feel me? Like, come on, man. And don't even try to blame it on the people and say the people want to know either, because we don't want to know, we already know. What you talking about? Let them know. There's something you might want to know. You might want to have your facts on. See, motherfuckers is doing too much crazy shit for these channels. I'm trying to tell you. Makes it smoking niggas, man, for these views. Seriously. Niggas getting paid. They just eating. You hear me? Feeding they homies and they family. It's gonna be hard to stop this shit. Cause y'all motherfuckers don't be wanting to really. You know, face the real fucking problem, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't be wanting to deal with the real problem. The like, real problem, we're gonna have to deal with the internet, we're gonna have to deal with all sorts of goofy shit. Good morning, Divine Order. Well, good afternoon, I'm sorry. What's going on? How you feeling? How you feeling today? Yeah, but motherfuckers, they don't, they don't, they don't really be wanting to, you know what I mean? Even like, F, like how FBG, F, FBG Young was saying, like, I, and I be feeling that too. I be feeling like j May be pushing that fake peace shit, man. For real. Like, like young is right. When you really want to make a stand for something, man, you got to be willing to die for that shit, man, to make a change, man. You have to. If not, you are fucking playing games. That's the only way motherfuckers going to look at you and be like, even the odds going to be like, oh, shit. Or really was, you know what I'm saying? Even if they took you out, they gonna feel like, damn, boy was really trying to make a change. Maybe we shouldn't have did that. You understand? But, come on, man. It's a lot, man. And I ain't condoning, like, you know, people killing each other. <clears throat> either because it falling in. It don't make any sense. I'll just go back and forth and involve in generations and shit that don't even, you feel me? Generations born in the pain. It's fucked up. You feel me? Young, 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 young man born in the pain. You know, his father got shot and killed. He might, the killer might live in the hood. Shit like that. It's a lot. It's a lot that goes on, man. In these trenches. It's a lot of ugly shit that goes on. On the everyday, day-to-day -day basics, man. You know what I mean? Th thanks, Divine Order. For real though, got to really pay attention to these day-to-day -day basic shits, man. Like I, I, I y'all see, like here in Philly, man, this shit crazy. Like this shit crazy, man. Like that, like the way the dope fiends, man, just take over everything. Like I'm just looking, like yo, motherfuckers don't even. Tell these niggas to chill or nothing. Like, how you just letting my man shoot dope up? 
on a train. Like, you feel me? Like, broad daylight. And it's more than one. Yo, let me tell y'all. No cap, divine water. Let me tell you. On a fucking train the other day. Come from the job. Bull sitting like across from me from this way. He got a crack pipe in his hand. He looking at me, right? You know, I give him the fucking look like, yo, you better not light that bitch up. You light that shit up, I'm telling you. Now, I ain't telling him this, but I'm telling you, like, this is what my body and my soul told him. We was looking at each other out of the eye. And he, we, we, you know what I'm saying? Letting you know, like, if you flame that joint up, I'm gonna knock you the fuck out. Just got finished working two, you know what I'm saying, shifts. Yo, know, was up for the past 24 hours. You feel a dig me? I ain't gonna lie. I was crank, crank to the bank. But I was gonna really snap his shit if he would lit that shit up, man. He lit that shit up. Oh my god. I was going to just get up, boom, drill his head. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Hate to sound violent and all that, but sometimes you gotta teach people a lesson, man. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Not knocking what you do, but you can't do that shit on the train. You can't. You just can't, bro. I ain't disrespecting y'all smoking weed or cigarettes or none of that shit. Young boys be drawn to lighting up weed and cigarettes and all this shit, man. And SEPTA, SEPTA. Yo, to all my motherfucking Philly people, when y'all see this video, man, make sure y'all get in the comments. Make sure y'all tag SEPTA. Let SEPTA fucking know. They ain't getting no more raises, gang. They don't deserve shit. The fucking buses and trains just filthy. I ain't capping that. You, <laughs> you ride that shit long enough, you're definitely gonna die. If it ain't by the bullets, it's by the fucking virus. Filthy ass buses, man. Transportation ain't good. The highest, highest fucking transportation. In fucking U.S. You feel me? Shit is out of fucking pocket, man. It's out of fucking pocket. A lot of shit gonna change, man. A lot of shit gonna change. For real. It gots to, it gots to start from somewhere, man. Somebody gots to um, be willing to take that stand. You know what I'm saying? Feel like the last black leader I had was Tupac. You know what I'm saying? Tupac, like Tupac, like my last black leader I had. You feel me? He was willing to die for his people. Pac always said that shit, and I felt that shit about Pac. It's one thing I always told people. He wasn't lyrically better than Biggie, but I felt him. And, 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 and feeling the hardest to me is more important then, you know, you really being lyrical, you know what I'm saying? And you see it to this day. You see how people got to be. They got to be real. They don't got to be hot. They don't got to be hot because a lot of these cats ain't hot. They can't rap. But if they out here doing a bunch of wild shit and they, they telling y'all that shit in some form of a story, y'all going to eat it up. You feel me? And that's just that's just what the new generation do. Y'all older generations, man, like in my age and older, man, y'all got to stop hating on these young motherfuckers. Stop hating. That's y'all problem. Y'all always hate. Mind your business. Get your shit together, man. Stop hating on the young motherfuckers, man. Because I hated that shit when I was young. Y'all used to be fucking hating, man. I said, I ain't going to never do that shit. Always trying to, you know, compete with the next generation. If you peep it, like, 
Oh, I wasn't, like, I hear mothers tell their daughter, I wasn't allowed to do that with a guy. Bro, it's not your time anymore. Of course you wasn't allowed to do it. My great-great-grandfather wasn't allowed to just walk the fuck off the porch either. You know, a couple hundred years, like a hundred years ago, the motherfucker had a cowbell on his neck. But times change. You feel me? And you ain't got that cowbell, but you definitely got that motherfucking house arrest around your ankle. You feel me? Same thing. But, you know, not to dive off the track, off the subject, man. So, um... Yeah, that's, that's, that's be the blogger, man. I'm gonna have to disagree with you big time. Me can't do shit. You, you need to specify what the fuck he did, gang. And who he put on. Who he put on from Philly. Can, can, can Philly get in the comments and, let, and please let me know who Meek Mill put on from Philadelphia. Please. Thank you. Fuck is these niggas be talking about, man? Get out here for real, man. I don't know, man. I mean, just be holding cameras, just saying anything, man. No, we not doing that shit 2024, man. We not doing that shit, man. We not doing it. These corny ass rappers that y'all think money because he hang with fucking, what's boy name? What's the old head name? Billionaire Bull. Huh? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Sixes. Um, um, Robert. Uh, um, um, Michael Rubin and Robert Kraft and all of uh, them. Trust me, it won't be long. They ain't, they ain't gonna be around them too much longer. They just getting washed up. They, 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 had, but they had little bro bunny hop. He made that nigga bunny hop. But, nigga, I ain't bunny hopping, nigga. Man. What? You ain't even put no sauce in that joint. You was supposed to put sauce in that joint, like how, uh, what's your little young boy from the Bronx D thing, how he be doing that shit with the, you know what I'm saying? You was Nate, bye, boy. Bye. It's going to sit down, like Ax said, like, you're around that age, man, they ain't trying to listen to you, I ain't going to cat. I ain't hating on you, but these young boys, they ain't trying to listen to you. They want to hear that dirt. They want to hear that vine. They want to hear that shit, the young boys. They want to hear motherfuckers who dropping bodies. I hate to tell you all this shit. But this is day generation. You can't stop it. You gotta try to un understand it to slow it down as much as possible. You feel me? The minute you go knocking it, it's like throwing gasoline on fire. Don't knock it, because they gonna flame up even more. These young boys ain't playing. They are ready, ready, ready ready for war unlike the generations before fuck you think you see all the bullets on the news for that's dumb it's the youngins they ain't scared scared and the, the, the world though the world getting more and more frightened if you look at it you know got more people and I start I had to catch myself cause I was seeing that shit to myself at one time like Like, damn, these young bucks dangerous, and they are, they dangerous, but then again, man, these young boys ain't fucking dangerous, man. 
They need fucking love and attention, man. You get out here and talk to these young boys, man. A lot of them thorough and cool, man. You can tell they just never had no, you know, no guidance, you know. You never had nobody to, you know, just, you know, listen to them, you know what I mean? Y'all got to listen to um, children as well, you know? You know how people, grown folks used to tell us back in the day, yeah, you speak, man, you spoken to, or, you know, if you want respect, you got to give respect, and that goes both ways, even for a child. It's because you're grown, don't mean, you know what I'm saying? You disrespect the child, because when you disrespect it, you're violating it, believe it or not. This is universal law. Even a kid know when something is wrong. Like, a kid know if he just got his ass whooped for no reason. Like, he know, like, something is wrong. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, a kid knows, like, you know, if he did something bad, he can accept that ass whooping. I broke this lady window, you know what I'm saying? But you just beat a kid ass. Man, a kid, no. A kid, no. Like, yeah, I don't know what is she doing. You know what I'm saying? Without nobody even having to tell that child that, I guarantee you. Thing is, man, gotta start making motherfuckers stand on business. A lot of us don't be making, you know, motherfuckers stand on business, man. You know? I don't know, I say 2024, man, I'm not playing no games. I can't speak for the next person, you feel me? But I, I, I'm snapping. I'm not playing. I'm snapping. You know? Straight up. I don't see it no any other way. You know? I don't see it any other way in my eyes. No other way. But, um, yo, if y'all didn't see that FBG Young and FYB, FYB J Main interview, got to check that joint out. That was a dope interview. I like that. I like that interview. That was well put together. They had a lot of key strong points. I think I'm going to go back and watch that John again and actually break that shit down. You know what I mean? Bring that shit over to the channel and we could dissect that shit. You feel me? I'm going to start posting um, in a community um, more too. So, you know, Hopefully people, you know, you know, get involved, like, comment, share, you know what I'm saying? Get to network and know each other, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, I'm trying to start going to events, all types of thorough shit, you feel me? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's time to Time is live life, man. Step this shit up. Have fun, man. I mean, I already be having fun, but it's just like, I'm not taking it to the next level. Of course, I'm going to need some dickheads in life. You know what I mean? But that's a part of life, too. You know, I ain't worried about shit, though. You feel me? Because I don't fear nothing. You know? I done traveled a lot of shit places alone, you feel me, and most of, I feel like, most of the time, the strongest on my own, because I know what I'm capable of, you feel
me? No. But I don't want to put nobody, you know what I mean, else in harm's way. You know? But, um, yeah, because if we going to set it off, we going to set it off. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think they will ever let them get me back in them bracelets again. You feel me? Fuck that. I ain't, I can't do that. I can't do that. See, at the age I'm at, I only got three for y'all. And I ain't really got, I ain't really got three for them. I'm gonna keep this shit a bean. Yeah, I ain't got no time for you. I was gonna say a year. But I ain't got a year for them niggas, man. That place is hell. To lock a motherfucker in. Now, rapists and all that shit. Yeah, lock them down in the room all day. Do that to them. Mentally disturbed, and you out here being serial killer and all that weird shit. Lock them up. Experiment on them, bro. There's a lot of them motherfuckers out here. Y'all just gotta start grabbing them. Um. Yeah. Fuck with them. But. You know, there's it's some, it's some fucked up shit going on in this world, man. People gotta start paying attention, man. Some fucked up shit, man. Um, and if people believe in God like they say they do, then everybody gonna be judged. Everybody. I, Cause I, I, I get down to the gritty, gritty life. You know, I tell people, like, in the Bible, it say, thou shalt not kill. It didn't say, uh, it, it, he allowed y'all to kill animals to eat it. He didn't say that in the book. But you do speak on how you can eat fruits and grains and nuts and all that. But he said nothing about being, uh, uh carnivore, whatever the fuck it is when you eat meat, a meat eater. I believe that's where a lot of our diseases come from. Eating these, uh, you know, blood and shit. You are what you eat, man. You gotta think, man, we be eating shit that live out in the wild, man. Shit that live in the water. We don't know what the fuck it eat. They dump shit and piss in the water. These animals shit and piss in the water all fucking day. Yeah, they got filters and all that, but you can't tell me this shit ain't slipping through. It's too much of it. You ain't catching all that. You ain't catching all them fishes and sharks fucking shit and piss. Fuck you think you fooling, man? fuck you think you fooling? But we gotta drink water, so I'm gonna assume that, you know, God must be made it. So, you know what I mean? I mean, yo, check it out. The fucking, it, you guys, y'all even see the, uh, this is the um, part of India where they worship rats. And, um, they, they got a rat temple. Oh my God, y'all so creepy. I mean, it's thousands of rats running around. And the people, you gotta take your shoes off. They say it stink like hell, I believe them. Um, you walk in here and the rats is running all over you. They got a milk fountain in the middle. The rats is swimming in it, pissing in it, you know, dookie in it. And they drink the uh, rat milk. Now, the reason why they do this, I know it sounds trifling, they do this because they, you know, rats are immune to all diseases. And they believe that by drinking the milk, that they will be immune to all diseases. You 
feel me? So, I don't know if it's true or not, but you never know. Now, this is one thing I can say about them. They live long as shit. And they live longer than the average. Well, at least our average, the American average age, you know what I'm saying? What's our life's um, expectancy? Shit, well, black people, our shit low, man. They got young black men, man, like that. We ain't even, they ain't even got y'all pushing it to 40. That's crazy. You know, it's, you know it's bad? Like, it's really a big thing in Chicago. When you make it to C21, and that's sad. I mean, you're supposed to be proud to make it to C21, but it's like a big thing because they, 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 they friends usually don't make it to C21. You feel me? They, they, they friends dying 15, 16, 17, 18. I mean, I see it here in Philly too. But in, in Chicago, that shit really like a, that shit like a holiday. You know? They got this catchphrase they say about this shit, you know? 21 and rack and all that and whatever. You feel me? No lack, please, today, don't let me become a pack. Dang, they turned the niggas into packs today. I would have never thought that niggas would turn you into a strain of weed and smoke you. Man, I just be thinking like, what the fuck is next in music to come out? What crazy shit is next, y'all? What crazy shit they gonna do to the guns? Hey, have y'all seen the fucking bullets that chase you? Huh? Yeah, I bet you a lot of y'all haven't seen that. Y'all ain't even known to that. Y'all ain't even known to that, is y'all? Nope. Fuck a switch. How you gonna get away from something that's tracking you, bitch? Literally. You can't even, that bullet going on some motion shit with you. Basically, done turned into you and replica. Man, y'all don't understand. I don't understand, man. Knowledge is really power. Every day they got us going against each other. Motherfuckers going against each other over YouTube checks. Claiming sets. That's gonna let them get stretched. There won't be no get back. Don't do that. I tell these young boys, you feel me? Don't you jump out there for them boys, trying to impress them. Man, shit, it took me one time, y'all, sit my ass in that cell. Trust me, I'm far from a bitch. I be in the mix every design. Every design. Now, this is what I'm saying, though. I can't deal with that, that locked up shit. I was the only child for a long time. Um, I ain't the only even cap to y'all. I'm used to having shit my way. I'm definitely not going to be locked in no room all day. No TV, you know, not no watch. I can't watch what I want to watch. And oh, no. Then you got these ugly ass cooks. You feel me? It seem like these, all the crackheads cook in jail. You feel me? 
teeth look like margarine. He talking all the time. Spit specks coming out of his mouth, landing in the grub. I'm cool. Keep the grub. Give me the orange and the brownie. At the five days of oranges and brownies, I ain't gonna lie, I couldn't take it no more. I had to pay that bill. I was trying to be cheap and hold on to that 7K. But fuck that. You know? I get that back. But, um, I ain't trying to be nasty when I came home at the time. My fiance, I never told her that I was eating oranges every day. And, you know, she, she you know, you know, we was doing our thing. And she was like, um, she was like, you taste like orange pillars. And I'm like, for real? I swear, I was like, yo, that's all I ate in prison. You know? So, because they be saying you can taste people, you know what I'm saying? Some, whew, I don't know about that, though. You know what I'm saying? Y'all believe in that? Y'all believe in all that? Like the seafood, don't eat seafood at a certain time and all that. Um... Have any any of y'all seen the FYB, FYB, J Main and um, FB, FBG Young interview? The Woots. Let me know what y'all think about J Main too. Y'all like J Main? Y'all subscribe to J Main? Make sure y'all subscribe to Coalition TV as well. If you'd like to be a guest on the show, please email us at coalitiontv32 at gmail.com. Again, if you want to be a guest on the show, please email us at coalitiontv32 at gmail.com. Um, and we will uh, get right back to you. ASAP with a quick response. Don't matter, big or small, you ain't gotta be popular. Um, if you serious about your craft and you trying to, um, you know, really do your thing, man. I might even, you know what I'm saying, you know, help you out free of charge. You know, um, that's just the type of person I am, man. But you're going to have to really be, you feel me, in love with this shit for me to be putting my time and money behind anybody again. Because that shit just is too, too valuable to lose. The time I can get back. Money I can get back, but it's still valuable. I work hard for it. I'd rather not lose even one if I can. You feel me? I lost enough time. I lost enough money. I ain't blaming nobody but myself. It was all off of my decision and the shit that I wanted. So I ain't bitching. But 2024, nothing but get back missions. It's nothing but hitting that clock, stacking that bag to the ceiling. Trying to have three vaults in the basement locked and concealed. Each one hold around five mil. Yeah. Yeah. Real spill. 
That's why I'm trying to get this shit real deal. And I need that shit in cash. You feel me? I don't need the gov trying to freeze any of my motherfucking ass ass. Never push it in my name. You can have the credit. You can have the fame. Give me the power. Give me the respect. Understanding. That should help you understand, man. Um, yeah. Make sure y'all hit that like button for me, man. Hit that like button for me. Never forget, man, when you st when you come up in here, hit that like button. Show your boy love. It helps the videos grow. Y'all want me to put on. Show love. Because I could really, I could really put on and get entertaining for y'all. For real, for real. I mean, I'm going to do it regardless, but it might might take it long. Take longer without the support. You feel me? Because the support just gives you the, the courage, the ambition. You feel me? The drive. To go through with anything. The roadblocks. They go through it all. And when they apply that pressure, you turn into a beautiful ass diamond with flaws. Not when they put that pressure in fucking pipes bust. Don't fuck with those kind. Stay away from us. Yo. Oh yeah, another thing. Shout out to the female who call herself Vault Talks. Is that is that her name? Vault Talks. Listen, Shorty. I checked you out. I like you. You're dope, but you picked the wrong name. Unless you want to collide with me and be bonded by the bank, you can be the first lady Head of VG Inc. It's an eight figure business. Come on, baby girl, tell me what you think. If not, I'm getting on the phone with my lawyer, Hank Rosenberg. Cease and stop your Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, everything stops. I don't want to go there. So comment below so we can get this square. This vault shit is trademarked. Google my fucking name, Daryl Robeson, there. The fuck? It's my shit. Y'all niggas will not be just going around throwing the vault on anything. Another motherfucker I want to talk to. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. And I did my homework too. 
I went all the way the fuck back to your first video, dude. You've been doing this for me. Live from the vault, that be thee. You getting a warning too. I'm tagging y'all in this fucking video. On that chain, when I get, get all, I'm going back, putting y'all and adding your names in the motherfucking bio. Cause I don't want y'all to be all surprised, Joe. I'm not playing no games 2024. Play with me and watch me stand right on business. I promise you for sure. I don't give a fuck if you bring Zeus and Hawk Ho. I'm the real maniac. Is it me, or do the women on Facebook be seeming bitter? Or is, is it just my Facebook, y'all? Maybe I need to, you know, get rid of them, find some new female friends. What y'all think? Talk to me in the comments, young world. It's our world, man. What y'all think about Ron W. Melly, man? Anybody know what's going on with his case? Another thing, y'all. If you got any good news that you think should be put out there to the world, Man, please send it over, man. If you don't want to put it out there, I'll put it out there. Twenty, twenty-four, and twenty-five is the years. Don't be afraid. Expose all your enemies, my dear. And you see how Cat kicked this shit off. I've been talking about it, but I ain't kick it off. But I'm gonna give it to Cat. Cat kicked this shit off. Monique followed up with a, you know what I'm saying, hard, uh, with a hard motherfucking left. I came with a hard right. Bang! I'm gonna need y'all to start stomping the shit out this shit. And then we're gonna keep our, we're gonna keep our foot on their necks. We taking off. You know what I'm saying? We taking off. I tell you what, man. On some real shit, though, y'all. We need to take back control of our control of our children. We be popping all this shit, man. Motherfuckers don't even got no control of their fucking children. Fucking phone got more say so than us. The phone has more say so in our relationship than us. And since you niggas and you women so phoned out, it's fucked up, man. This really is. It's fucked up, y'all. If you smoke, smoke a fucking L, sit your dumb ass back, and really think about this shit, what's going on, man. It's fucked up. Um, Michael Jackson said it best, we gotta make a change. At least try to make this shit better for our kids. You feel me? Because our, 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 our prominent years is over. Now, some of y'all don't want to believe it. Y'all think y'all still the fuck out here, but you ain't out here. 
In fact, you is out there. You out there, but there ain't shit out there. You just the fuck out there. Dummy. That's the type of people you really need to, you know, stand clear from. People who just want to be out there. Just want to be part of something. Dick eating ass. Fucking worst kind. Yeah, man. FBG Young, man, he, he was really getting up on, he was getting up on J. Main ass in that interview, man. That was a great interview, man. If y'all haven't seen it, man, please, please go check it out. It's on FYB J. Main channel. J. Main just dropped something down as we speak, man. J. Main is running up um, a nice bag. Nice bag, man. Um, I'm trying to run up a nice fucking bag. Yo, they let Aunt Glizzy run up a fucking bag. Yo, hold up. Yeah. It's kicking in now, y'all. Where my motherfucking people's at, man? Come on, y'all. Where the fuck y'all at, man? Where you two got me on shadow ban, man? Because I ain't post for a couple days. This is how this shit go. Come on. Y'all got to bring me out of shadow ban. Hit the fucking like button, man. Hit the share button, man. Share this shit to your Facebook. Share this shit to your Twitter. Share this shit to your Instagram. Share this shit. Let's get this support the fuck out there, man. I'm about to turn up, man. I'm about to turn the fuck up. Y'all about to make me go in. Y'all don't want the sash to come out. Don't. Please. Fall back and have a bob and ease. Motherfuckers don't want to even hit the like button. That shit for free. Damn. Is that's how much y'all niggas be hating me? What is it? Is it my skin tone? Or is it because my dick long? Or maybe because my money long? Maybe in the past, I fucked one of you niggas honeycombs. I don't know, but whatever it is, please let it go. I'm warning anybody. Threat and V. I'ma let it blow. That go for friends, family, kids, women, and grandparents too. I don't play no games when we in the zoo. I'ma turn it to a lion. Mufasa. Boo.
play with the kitty, and I'ma eat it too. Yo, so next on the next episode, I'ma tell you what we gonna. I'ma give y'all a brief preload. So, um, on live from the vault, episode 121, I'm gonna be speaking on um, the death of a young Philadelphia legend that was. Um, in the making. He said that he was taken early. We're gonna talk about the death of Fat G's. And also, we're gonna talk about um, Cam Capone and other bloggers burning Chicago artists out. I mean, If you subscribe to channels on YouTube like I am, every other day is these same Chicago motherfuckers. Man. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Look, how many times he gonna tell the same stories, y'all? How many times you goofy ass viewers just gonna watch it? Cause I can't even get mad at the motherfuckers for putting it out if you dumb fuckers keep watching it. The viewers, all the words, and I'm not speaking to the level-headed people, to the level-headed motherfuckers. Hit that fucking like button so I know you got some fucking sense. Cause if not, you gonna write in the category with them. Yes. Amen. I ain't playing. If y'all hit that like button and share this video, you sinning then. Just know that shit. Fuck it. You sinning. Same people, man. Gotta watch humans, man. They ain't shit but problems and contradict they sells all the fucking time. They be crying about the violence, shot the violence. Next hollow next next half an hour, they yelling out, We love you, King Fun. Bitch, is you would stop the violence or you would fucking promote in the killer? Huh? What's this gonna be? I ain't never pretend, man. This is why I always been hated. But to keep it fucking real with y'all, I never gave a fuck because I always was gonna win. Because I'm always willing to do what the fuck they not willing to do. That goes for anything, work or my boo. When I find my queen, my love is here waiting for you. We're going to travel the world, have lots of fun. And I'm waiting on you, so hurry up and come. Yeah. Yeah. So, man, I, I, man I'm going to need y'all to start um, tapping in. Y'all already know, man. Tell a friend to tell a friend. I'll be back later on with episode 121, live from the vault. Please like, share, subscribe. If you'd like to be a guest on the show, you already know. Email us at coalitiontv32 at gmail.com. And you'll hear right back.
with the swiftest response. Subscribe now to Coalition TV, where music and entertainment and hip hop lives. We've been doing this shit since 2012. We ain't going nowhere. Let's get them subscribers back up. It's your kid, Fall Boy Babe. I'm back. Love y'all.